Hello, everyone. I'm going to show you now how to lower the size of a video on Windows. It's pretty simple. There are two main types of compression. Lower the bitrate, or replace the video encoder to a more efficient one. The former compresses the video considerably, while the latter does not compress it as much, but keeps the quality high. Now, I will show you the compression results by using these two methods with SIDM Video Compressor. To help you with the comparison, all the compression is done using the same video. This is the original video. This is the effect after bitrate compression of 40% and 60%. This is the effect of the video after transcoding. Alright, let's dive right into this guide, on how to compress videos on Windows using SIDM Video Compressor. It's a video compression app that lets you compress multiple large video files in batches easily. First, you need to download this software. Enter the official website of SIDM Video Compressor through the URL. The link is also provided in the description below. You can click on it to go directly to the website. Then click the download button on the page to download and install the software. Now, I get the software. Add the video. Click the thumbnail and a play button will appear. Click the button to view the original video before compression. The compression percentage can be selected in the lower left corner. The smaller the ratio, the more the video is compressed. The software evaluates the output file size based on the percentage you select. You can view the changes here. If you wish to have more compression settings, click the gear icon. The file size section also allows you to adjust the bitrate by percentage. I first choose to compress to 60%. There is an additional option to select VBR or CBR. I recommend VBR. The bitrate of VBR is not fixed. It adjusts the bitrate according to the video content, making the file size more compact with the same quality. In addition, you can also compress the video by converting it to another format or codec, lowering the resolution, frame rate, sample rate, or reducing the number of channel. Preview your compressed video. It's good. Continue testing and using other compression methods. The second video I choose to compress to 40%. The third video changes video codec to H265. The last video changes video codec to AV1. Press the start button to initiate the video compression process. Once it's completed, you'll be able to obtain the compressed files. I showed the compression results at the start of the video. You can go back and take a look. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.